This rookie road is so much fun to make for Easter, or it's a great way to use up Easter eggs if that is even an issue you have. Welcome to Recipes by Karina, where I share with you how to make classic and simply delicious recipes. Make sure to subscribe for a new video each week. So this is great to make for Easter, it's easy and fun, plus it's no bake so anyone can get involved. Rocky Road is also the type of thing that everything goes, so I'm sharing with you the ingredients I'm using, but you can also add some of your own too. We'll need 500 grams or about 17 ounces of chocolate. I would recommend to go with half dark, half milk chocolate. Go for something good quality. I'm using Whitakers, but you could use the leftover chocolate eggs if you have them. Make sure they are broken up into small pieces so they will melt easier and place it into a heat proof bowl. To the chocolate, we're going to add 50 grams of butter, which works out to be half a stick or quarter of a cup. Place the bowl of chocolate and butter over a saucepan of simmering water and leave to melt, stirring occasionally. You'll notice they give the recipe amounts in metric and imperial, so no matter where you live in the world, this recipe should be easy enough to follow. If you'd like the full recipe, it will be on my website, as well as the full measurements listed in the description box below. We're going to stay traditional to some Rocky Road ingredients, but we're also going to add a few Easter related things. You'll need about 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of cookies or biscuits. I'm using digesters, but you could use anything you have on hand or your favourite type. We're after a bit of crunch, so cookies, Oreos, digestives, or work here, it's up to you. Break the biscuits up into smaller pieces. You don't want crumbs, more just bite-sized pieces. Add them to a large bowl that we'll be using to mix the rocky road together. Check on your chocolate and give it a good mix. We're melting it using a double boiler as it's pretty easy to scold the chocolate and this way is so much more gentle. Make sure the water in the saucepan is simmering and not at a rapid boil. If this is the case, turn down the heat. Rocky Road will usually have peanuts, but I want to add as much colour as possible here, so I'm switching them out for pistachios. Add about a quarter of a cup, reserving some for decorating the top. We'll also need about a cup and a half of marshmallows. I'm using the mini ones, but if yours are larger, it works best if you cut them up smaller. I'm also adding a couple of different varieties of mini easter eggs. I'm using mini cream eggs here, but again anything works so use your favourites. Check on your chocolate again, giving it a good stir, making sure the butter is being incorporated. Let me know in the comments below what extra you would add to this easter rocky road because I would love some ideas. The last thing I'm adding to the rocky road is mini eggs. These are my favourite, they look really cute, but they also have great texture. Again, make sure to reserve some for decorating the top. If you have any other ingredients you want to use, add them now. Different nuts like almonds, cashews, peanuts, dried fruit, different easter eggs, M&Ms or Smarties. Use a wooden spoon to give the ingredients a quick toss together so they are somewhat mixed up. Your chocolate should be completely melted by this point. Give it a good stir and check there are no lumps. It should be incredibly shiny and glossy from the butter. The chocolate is probably pretty hot at the moment, so you want to set it to the side for about 10 minutes to cool down or else it'll probably melt the easter eggs in the rocky road. When the chocolate has cooled, pour it into the bowl over the top of the easter eggs, marshmallows, digestives and nuts. Scrape out all of the chocolate with your spoon and give it a good stir. It'll start to look like a complete mess, but that's exactly what we want. Just make sure everything is evenly covered in the chocolate. To set the rocky road, you can use any type of tray, dish, or even individual molds. I'm using a 20 by 15 centimeter or 8 by 6 inch lined baking dish that will keep the rocky road pretty thick. Make sure your dish or tray is lined with baking paper or you may have a lot of trouble getting it out. Pour the rocky road into the dish, smoothing it out and really pressing it down into the corners so you don't end up with any air bubbles. 
Before it sets, decorate the top with all of the remaining ingredients we set to the side. I'm also using these chocolate bunnies since this is Easter themed. There's no right or wrong way to do this, just scatter everything everywhere and make sure to press it into the chocolate so it will hold when it sets. Place the Rocky Road into the fridge for at least 4-6 to six hours or overnight is best before serving. Cut it up into pieces. It's incredibly sweet, delicious and rich so you don't want too big of a piece. I've been keeping mine in the fridge just so the chocolate doesn't get too soft but it's best eaten at room temperature so you don't break your teeth. I hope you try out this Easter Rocky Road whether you use leftover Easter eggs or buy some especially for this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipes each week and I will see you in my next video.